What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video from here in Germany. So today's plan basically is we are headed to the Frankfurt Motor Show and currently we're actually just chilling at this mall that's right next to it. I think it's across the road. We've come to grab some ice cream. Uh, Mo's got some stuff to finish up so we thought we might as well just kill some time until he's done. So as you can see the lads are already queuing up for the ice cream. We just had a very very heavy lunch but apparently everyone's got space. Bro, how are you eating ice cream right now man? Look at the size of these ice creams. Guys, just check out, just oh, check yes. out the stuff. Shame on all of you, every single one of you. My final presentation, look, look at this small, cute little Coke glass. Your cherry juice looks dead, and everything else looks great. Why have you just broken a glass? This is why we can't take him anywhere. Cannot take him anywhere. What have you done? What have you done? Say wallahi. Wherever we go, these guys are embarrassing me, telling them about what is this going on, bro? Forget this, bro. Let's leave. They booked you in because you're a famous YouTuber. Aye, right, shut up, man. The appointments in 15 minutes. Have you had your fun? Have you had your fun now? The fun's gonna start in 15 minutes. <laughs> the fun, hey Hassan, the fun's gonna start when you show us your DMs. <laughs> oh my god, down in the DMs. You're finally headed to the motor show. We have our tickets. So as you guys can see, Hall 3 has Lamborghini, Audi, Seat and the rest. So we're actually at the motor show area and there's loads of halls around. So Hall 4's over there, 3's back here. And they've actually got stuff going on in the middle. So yeah, we're about to enter 3, which is where the Lamborghini and all that stuff is. place is ridiculous. I can already see the Lamborghini. I'm trying to resist because we want to check out each thing in turn. So we're going to Audi first. So we're going to check out the Audi stuff and then we'll come back for Lamborghini and the rest. There's so much going on. So they've got this in the wall. They've actually got tyres. It's the Audi Sport ones here. What on earth is this? What is this? Do you even know? Do you have any idea what this is? No, I have oh, oh my god. That is mental. At this point I've lost the others, but it's worth it because I actually have no idea what that is. It's absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of concept. Because, I don't know, it just seems too crazy to be like, currently out or anything. Oh my god. We are literally in the spot for cars. I'm actually buzzing. Check this out. So obviously they're electric and they've got loads more going on over here, which is like, which is pretty much where like I sit. Like I love the S4. Okay, there's some fuss over here. I don't know what it is. Let's have it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, that doesn't even look real. That doesn't even look real. sort of off-track Audi future concept. I have no idea if it's like actually in production or whatever, but because we're not actually stopping to speak to anyone at the moment, we're just having a quick run through to have a look at everything. Because there's so much to have a look at. Like we haven't even touched on like the other S lines of like the S5, 6s, I think there's a new RS7. So two of my really good friends actually have an S5 and this is the brand new model just here. And the interior is the thing that like catches my eye personally. If we can have a look. So they've completely changed. Like the, the display is much larger and everything just seems much better. All right guys, I'm gonna have a look inside. So here is the new Audi S5. Similar stuff, but like the interior is just much better. Carbon fiber. Mo, check out the carbon fiber. They didn't have nice. this. Oh, the display is much bigger. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. And now we're going to check out the RS3. At the moment, Audi are actually killing it. So do not be surprised if I ended up getting an Audi as my first car. So that's what we just sat in the S5 Coupe. As you can see, it's all in German. If you want to translate it, go ahead. Let me know in the comments.
Hey, go on, something's disappointing apparently. Car like this, spec like this, look at the interior. Just Amazing, yes, 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 yes. Leather everywhere, good stitching. I'm gonna show you the disappointment, yeah? No way. I want better than that. No, there must be two models. There's gotta be more than one model. I don't believe this, that. This is just basic. I don't believe... Are you talking about the cap or the fact that it the takes cap. diesel? Oh, the cap, come on. No one's seeing it. No one's seeing it. It doesn't matter. It's fine, we'll just hide that away. No one, needs, no one needs to know about this. They all need to know about this. See, that's not crap plastic. I think you're just nitpicking now. No, man. I, that's what I look for in like, these nice cars. I see what you're saying. So basically, when you're paying that much money, you want everything to be top notch. Yeah. Which we were discussing earlier, the GTR, for what it is, it's kind of underwhelming on the inside and some of the things they've like used. It is, this is the one we've come for. This is the difference, yeah? It's a car is on an RS7. Right, go on, this. go on. Metal. Metal even. Oh there. man, come on. Because you're paying you're paying a lot more. You're paying a lot more. Look at that, man. Bro, look at the rims. Jeez, carbon fiber. Fam. Put that in your pocket, man. <laughs> if anyone watching has an RS7, if you're in Dubai or the UK, DM me. the new RS7, an absolute beast. I can't even explain it on camera, to be honest. If you have this car, just know uh, you've got street credit. RS7, absolutely unreal. I'm like, I'm actually in awe. It is, it is way better than I thought it would be. Every detail is unreal. The interior is crazy. Bear in mind, we've only just come to the Audi section. We've not actually had a look at anything else yet. Um, there's like loads, VW, Lamborghini obviously, and some other notable ones. So we've hogged this long enough, people are staring at us, let's get out of this car. So because AJ's wearing the Arsenal Xhaka shirt, you can never miss him. See that fluorescent yellow there? There he is. Bruh. This has been my favorite car for absolutely years. So we've just come across the VW section. I'm a huge VW fan, and especially the Golf, obviously. And yes, yeah, so there's an Up GTI. Did not even know that was a thing. There is also a Polo GTI. And then we are going to, I think this is the Golf, yep. All right guys, we're gonna pause the video for one moment because by the time I came to editing this, I'd already uploaded the previous vlog. So this is part two out of a two-parter from Germany and part one was released quite a while ago now. And unfortunately, YouTube had restricted it. So that means the majority of you, most of you guys probably never even seen the video. Um, it wasn't showing up on my channel for loads of people. So if you haven't seen that, it would mean a lot if you could go in the description below and uh, watch that after this. Because that video, in my honest opinion, is one of my favorite videos to edit, one of my favorite videos to film, and it's probably my longest ever video, I think. So it was my longest ever edit. I spent a lot of time on it. It would mean a lot if you guys could check that out. Drop a like on this video and yeah, let's get back to it. that made some of the biggest headlines and that is the Porsche Taken Turbo S and so this is an electric car and it's just been stealing headlines because it's obviously comparing directly to the Tesla Roadster okay I really want to sit inside the queue just to sit inside the vehicle is so long so yeah maybe not this time Porsche, anyone at Porsche, anyone who has the car somehow. It's like having a Tesla, but with like the Porsche interiors and like the good things about Porsche. And that's probably what's happening right now. That's what people are sort of discussing and debating whether it beats a Tesla or not. Honestly, I'm kind of tired. We've been walking around for ages. We've seen so many nice cars. We are yet to see the new Lamborghini, the uh, hybrid. So we're gonna go check that out in a sec. The Porsche is absolutely stunning, but like I said, the queue is so long, so there's no chance of getting inside. I have spotted the Lamborghini section. This is the brand new Lamborghini Sian. I don't know how to pronounce it, but honestly, this is something else in person. 
Wow. The others because I actually lost them and I ended up in that bikini section. That's like the Porsche. Wow, like I was a bit skeptical because it was a hybrid and all this, but the design just makes up for everything. It's absolutely stunning. But we've got other Lamborghinis, obviously. I believe it's a Huracan Spider, I'm gonna say. From the looks of it. Is this a Huracan Spider? Yeah. So yeah, it is. And it's a beautiful colour. It's like a peachy kind of uh, like a blush peach, the Urus in the back. And then obviously the, the highlight is over there. So we've literally peaked, we've already peaked. We haven't even seen the other halls. And we're at the Lamborghini section. And this is literally the view. Like I can't get over this car. And this is my dream car now officially. They have a little store here and they've actually got some really cool stuff. Um, random little camping chair, caps, AJ. My battery is about to die. I just want to let you guys know that was only one haul. So we only went to one haul so far. We haven't even gone to the Mercedes section. And the first thing I come outside is, I can smell the churros from here. I almost actually died, so I'm using my phone. So I hope it's all right. I've switched it to 4K. But, so we're actually at the new G wagon. I think it's the, yes, it is the new one with the new lights and stuff. So this is G500, I think. We're gonna head inside. There's lots more inside. And uh, yeah, we never actually got to see the Mercedes section because it's actually on a completely different hall. And we've just made it inside. This is one of the best hatchbacks you'll ever see. A45S. Stunning spoiler. Yellow. Just look at the exhausts. Oh my god, the stripes. Everything is perfect. Even the interior. This section. Actually, I have no idea what this is. Is it it's some sort of. So it's, it looks like an autonomous bus, right? So you've seen it in like the demo videos and stuff online. That is actually mental. It's a showroom. This is a show, this is a showroom. There's a queue just to get to that section there so you can, I can't believe it. We're at this like cool little area here and we're checking out something absolutely outrageous. It's just they've got a few cars on the floor and then like a few shows and like demos and I guess you can have a look at some of the cars over there but yeah honestly I'm pretty tired and we've, I think we've seen pretty much most of it if not all of it so earlier I said I think we've seen basically everything completely wrong we haven't even seen BMW so we're trying to find that hall right now because they're closing in about an hour so we need to quickly see everything and then call it a day wow, okay. so clever. what are you guys doing I'm getting a massage why are you eating you look like a mug no one else is going to massage where you go, you destroy it, so now I need to get a massage. We've come to look at the BMW, Land Rover, that kind of stuff, and I'm surprised they put it like so far at the back, because you would have to walk a quite a distance to get here. But we're actually at the uh, Land Rover area, and they've got like the new Defenders, looking decent. This is something else, look at this colour, look at the grill. Just the design is just absolutely crazy. Look at it. Oh god, the M8. Are you joking? Wow. That is something else. individual color what do you think of the concept the four concept yeah it looks amazing that, but I, I didn't think they could make the four series look better i thought in, when i saw it in photos i wasn't really convinced with that it's so futuristic is the interior i couldn't see the interior i couldn't see it. i don't know if they've even made an interior have they got an interior 
I don't know, I'm just, I'm just talking about this right now. Faisal. Brother Faisal, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Faisal from Morocco, do your thing. Two, three. You are an artist. Mashallah. Thank you, brother. Alright guys, so by the time you're watching this video, it should be my last video of 2019. I can't even explain how busy the last couple of months have been and one big thing I mentioned in the video that I uploaded during university was I've been working on a project for many, many months. I was working on it during university, but then obviously exams got in the way, so that is something that's coming very soon. Early 2020, Project Q is on its way. It is something I'm massively passionate about. It's something I think you guys are going to love, and it's something that you guys can all get involved in, so do stay tuned. So it's not actually going to be called Project Q, it's just the name I've given it until I can publicize and launch it properly, so that will be happening very, very soon. Like, we are ridiculously close, yet so far. It'll make a lot more sense once it's actually publicized. Um, yeah, it's something that's been taking a very long time. But otherwise, I hope you've had an amazing 2019. I hope you've bettered yourself, you've enjoyed yourself, and I hope you've conquered any goals that you've set yourself. Otherwise, that's been me, guys. Happy New Year to everyone that's watching this. And yeah, I hope you guys have the best year ahead of you. Brand new decade, fresh start. It's going to be good. Anyways, as always, make sure you follow me up on all my socials. I'm going to be staying a lot more up to date on those now that I've got more free time. I will be posting here more. Subscribe, put the notification bell on, and I will catch you guys next year. <laughs>